For your own safety, I must inform you that entering this video has activated an anti-memetic agent. This will prevent the possible spread of the anomaly we'll be exploring today. As we are about to witness, information and ideas can be dangerously contagious. Some anomalies have used to reach human imagination to spread like an uncontrolled plague. Item number SCP-1231 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1231 In an unlit vault, dimensions 0.6 meters by 0.8 meters by 0.2 meters, located inside 20. Guards are posted outside of the vault, denying access to all personnel without direct and confirmed level 5 authorization. A video camera is installed in the vault, taking a live feed of SCP-1231. Note that no external light source is necessary due to SCP-1231 providing approximately 20 logs. This video is in turn fed to a specially designed program displaying only the number of thumbnails and if there is a significant error. Access to the raw feed is strictly prohibited. A mouse is located near the terminal but remains disconnected under normal circumstances. New personnel assigned to SCP-1231 must be handpicked specifically for testing purposes. However, testing is currently suspended. Description SCP-1231 is a black Amiga A1200 computer manufactured by Commodore International. Missing all other identifying marks, including its serial number, it runs independently despite the lack of power source. SCP-1231 does not function as an Amiga A1200 should, and generally only displays a screen full of thumbnails, named the primary screen. SCP-1231 cannot be shared from its current settings, and as of yet, no other programs have been discovered on the computer. External attachments, such as mice and keyboards, function normally. The primary screen contains 8,502 thumbnails, organized in rows of 20, ascending numerically by age. A scroll bar is located on the right side of the screen. More detailed analysis of the layout of the primary screen of SCP-1231 is located in document 1231-B. The thumbnails display extremely low moving pictures. There is no audio. Most videos do not contain audio. However, Despite the lack of speakers on SCP-1231, low decibel sounds can occasionally be heard. Clicking on the thumbnail causes the video display to increase in resolution and fill nearly the entire screen, except for a thin white bar on the top, bearing the number of the thumbnail. Clicking a second time returns the screen to the primary screen. Although the videos vary significantly, there are consistently three subjects known as SCP-1231-1, 2, and 3, present. SCP-1231-1 is generally a tall, middle-aged, Caucasian man. SCP-1231-2 is generally a younger, shorter, Korean woman. SCP-1231-3 generally appears as either a light-colored child, approximately 4 years of age, or a feral, mid-sized animal. The videos do not loop, although the same actions are performed repeatedly in the videos, with incredibly minor deviations. New videos are generated when a human subject misperceives an existing video or thumbnail. The new video contains a representation of what was believed to be in the prior video. Testing has shown that only minor details, such as the color or composition of an object, is sufficient for this effect to occur. Direct observation of SCP-1231 is not necessary, and rudimentary knowledge of a video or thumbnail can lead to speculations that generate more videos. However, new videos can be created at a maximum rate of 1 per minute. Due to the virulence of its infohazardous properties, SCP-1231 is classified as a beta Gmail wide infohazard. Absurd from document 1231-A Thumbnail Descriptions Thumbnail 1 Thumbnail 2 The setting is the same room as Thumbnail 1. 
discovered on the second test of SCP-1231, believed to have been created after exposure to Thumbnail-1. SCP-1231-2 is scooping an unknown powder with her left hand, while SCP-1231-3 is asleep in her right arm. SCP-1231-1 is not on the screen. Thumbnail 3 The setting is the same room as Thumbnail 1. Discovered on the second test of SCP-1231. Believed to have been created after exposure to Thumbnail 1. SCP-1231-2 is asleep, while SCP-1231-3 is crawling over her. SCP-2031-1's leg is present in the upper right of the screen, although the rest of his body seems to be just outside of view. Thumbnail 4 The setting is the same room as Thumbnail 1, discovered on the second test of SCP-1231, believed to have been created after exposure to Thumbnail 1. SCP-2031-3 is molding the pectoralis minor of SCP-2031-2. SCP-231-1's mutilated right leg and pelvic region is located on the upper right portion of the screen. Thumbnail 39 The setting is the same room as Thumbnail 18. Discovered on the second test of SCP-1231. Believed to have been created after exposure to Thumbnail 24. SCP-231-1 is dislocating and relocating SCP-231-2's shoulder with his right hand, so both are standing erect in the room. SCP-231-3 is asleep in the upper left of the screen. Thumbnail 902 The setting is the same room as Thumbnail 600, discovered on the second test of SCP-1231, believed to have been created after exposure to Thumbnail 419. SCP-231-1 is lying on top of SCP-231-2, smashing SCP-231-3 on the floor. SCP-231-2 is completely motionless. Thumbnail 1170. The setting is the same as Thumbnail 1053. Discovered on the second test of SCP-1231. Believed to have been created after exposure to Thumbnail 1004. SCP-231-1 and SCP-231-2 are kneeling, facing the camera, drenched in blood crying, and mouthing non-discernible words. What appears to be the mutilated corpse of SCP-231-3 is lying in front of SCP-231-2. A low-pitched laughter is audible throughout. Addendum 01 Due to the high level of similarity between SCP-231 and other encounter soul traps, it has been deemed likely that the entities SCP-231-1-2 and dash 3 are real in some capacity. In light of this, I am formally requesting that testing on this subject be halted. Researcher Ethics Committee Addendum 02 Testing on SCP-231 has been suspended indefinitely. The majority of personnel assigned to SCP-231 will be administered a Class B amnesiac and transferred to a new project. 05 GOC encryption specialists have found the following message hidden in the source code of this record. What is the suffering of a few in the face of science? Pain is all relative, as is eternity. We've done far worse, I'm sure we have. Addendum 03 Processed video feeds of SCP-231 have shown that the number of thumbnails is increasing despite the suppression of knowledge relating to SCP-1231. Something's wrong. Doctor. And low. There were 8,502 thumbnails at the time of leaking this SCP. But records show that this number is constantly increasing. It's no surprise that the Foundation's methods have allowed another SCP anomaly to escape. Anomalous objects like this should be eliminated as soon as possible. If there are real souls trapped in the thumbnails and the Foundation is not willing to try to free them, the least they could do is to end their suffering humanely. But as we've seen repeatedly, the SCP Foundation lacks both common sense and humanity. Help us to stand up to the Foundation 
by leaving your thoughts and suggestions for future videos in the comment section below. I am Virus Trisanonimo, we at the GLC, and you have been informed.